Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Backpack B back at it with another episode of Behind the Edge coming in hot 2020, baby. If you like these videos, consider stabbing that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Today, we've got a budget option that was just released from Columbia River Knife and Tool. Super amped about this one, so let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's get into it. Today we're looking at a new budget offering from CRKT. This knife right here is called the Pete, and it was designed by Jesper Voxnes, an extremely popular knife designer. If you're a knife person and don't know who Voxnes is or his work, pause this video and Google him really quick. We'll wait for you. He's a prolific designer that has worked with CRKT, Boker, MKM, Fox, and many more knife companies. He's also co-creator of Giant Mouse Knives. Jesper is an extremely consistent designer who has been creating some of the most intriguing pieces in the knife game over the past couple of years. All that being said, this is my review of the CRKT Pete. Welcome to Behind the Edge. Let's get after it. Weighing in at just 2.5 ounces, the Pete has a handle length of 3.37 inches, a handle width of 1 inch, and a handle thickness of 0.46 inches. It has a blade length of 2.625 inches, a blade width of 1 inch, and a blade thickness of 0.13 inches, giving the Pete an overall length of 6.5 inches. It features a flat ground spear point blade, 8 CR13 MOV steel, a tip up reversible deep carry pocket clip, a liner lock, and textured GFN handled scales. These features integrate seamlessly, creating a simple yet functional knife. Let's take a closer look. And here she is. On the show side of the handle, you can see the textured GFN handle scales. The execution of the texturing on the handles is amazing. It's a subtle texture, but provides a perfect balance of grip and comfort in hand. Moving on to the spine, you can see one of the defining design features of this knife. It's blue aluminum backspacer. The backspacer purposely offsets the handle scales, creating a unique design feature and a pop of color while providing extra balance to the overall knife. Onto the back side of the handle, here we can see the deep carry pocket clip that is recessed into the handle scales. I love that the clip is recessed into the scales. Let's check the centering. I gotta admit, it came unbalanced out of the box. The blade tang is resting against the side of the handle scale. Even though this is a budget offering from CRKT, pocket knives should come centered. You know what time it is. That's right, it's thwack test time. And again, this is a budget knife that runs on washers of some sort, but the action is pretty good. Right out of the box, you're gonna need to put some wrist action into the deployment. I have to say, over the past week or so, the knife has broken in really nicely, and now the action feels great. You could definitely spidey flick this thing using the thumb hole. Let's check that action out again. After it breaks in a little bit, the knife feels great. Let's check the lockup, and the liner comes in at about 30 to 35% in on the tang, which is okay. The liner is pretty thin, but hey, it's a budget knife. Alright, it's time for some size comparisons. Let's do it. Alright, here's a quick look at all the knives I'll be comparing the Piat to today. I tried to pick similar sized knives. So let's just put the Piat right in the middle there. Man, I love the looks of this knife. It definitely reminds me a lot of the giant mouse knives aesthetics. Starting out with another design from Voxnes, the CRKT Polar with the brass titanium scale. You can see that the Piat's a little bit larger than the Polar in overall length, but the Polar is much heavier. Next up is the Spyderco Little Native in CPM S30V Steel. An interesting comparison. The Piat is a bit larger in overall length, but very similar blade shapes. On to the next one. Here we have the small steel wheel cut jack in D2 steel. It's a little bit larger than the Pete, but there's a similarity in handle materials. While I think the steel wheel's texturing is nice, I prefer the texturing on the Pete. I think they nailed the execution of materials on this knife. Moving on, here we have the Vanguard Mini Sheepdog from Kaiser Knives. These two knives have similar overall length, but the handle of the Pete allows for much more space for your hand. Okay, next up is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Similar overall size and similar handle grip space. Both small knives that allow ample room for grip, which I love because it makes them way easier to use. And finally, a guest appearance from a knife that I just picked up, the Kaiser Maestro, designed by Azo. The Maestro is featured on the next episode of Behind the Edge. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new episodes I put out. 
Time for the pros, cons, and conclusions, starting with the pros. If you couldn't tell by now, there are a lot of pros with this knife, so I tried to keep it concise. The design here is amazing. The simplicity of Voxne's aesthetic shines through here and makes this knife a super capable EDC option. The silhouette of this knife is beautiful, showcasing a single confident line from the tip of the leaf-shaped drop point blade that continues all the way through to the end of the handle. The design of the handle is terrific. It allows me to grip four fingers comfortably and it makes the knife feel larger than it really is. The star of the show is the aluminum backspacer that purposely offsets the handle while providing extra weight for balance and jimping for grip. The deep pocket carry clip is a nice addition to the design. Its recessed screws are well thought out and make the knife a joy to carry in the pocket. The show side scale has a cutout to allow easy access to the liner lock. All around, the knife feels super thought out and I love to see that. Not only is the design amazing, but the overall execution and use of materials is a home run by CRKT. While I personally think FRN can feel cheap, something about the texturing of the handles makes them feel nice and quality. The peat also has steel liners recessed into the inside of the FRN handles, which give them a solid and quality feel. The blue backspacer is a great touch that you don't always see at this price point. Which leads us to price. I picked this knife up for $29, and I think that's a pretty good price for this piece. Of course you're getting budget materials with the FRN and 8CR13 MOV, but the simple design and concise implementation of these materials, with the subtle details that CRKT added to the knife, is really working well together. It feels like a very harmonious knife. Moving on to cons, and there aren't many. The first one is obviously the knife centering. I don't care what the price point is of the knife, I expect the knife to come centered. And yeah, I could fix the centering, but that's not the point, so CRKT, step it up. Next con is the steel, and even though I think they did a pretty good job with the implementation of 8CR13 MOV, I'd love to see them step up the steel a little bit. I really think this design would have been killer with a budget steel like D2 or something. And that's really it for cons. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. We made it to the conclusion, so let's wrap it up. This knife is a great EDC size with a simple design that's extremely functional. The size allows it to disappear into the pocket until you need it. The handle has a great texture that's easy to grip and room for four fingers. The high flat grind of the blade and the thinness behind the edge makes it a great slicer. The thumb hole makes it easy to deploy and it's ambidextrous for the lefties out there. The design and the execution of materials of this knife is an absolute home run. I love when a nice form allows it to have great function, and that's definitely what we have here. If you're thinking about picking this up, I highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for a great EDC that doesn't break the bank. And that's all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, consider commenting, liking, subscribing. That'd be awesome to hear from you. I'm trying to do these videos like every week. Keep an eye out for new ones. I also have more content that's not related to knives coming soon that's been in the works for a while. I hope that uh, you'll enjoy that as well. Thanks, guys. Backpack be out. Deuces. Mm.